Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. So uh, this video is just going to be a quick one and I'm going to post it on uh, Elliot's Extras which is the second channel. Um, I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos today. I'm just catching up on things but uh, uh, this one's just uh, just a bit of an oddball video because um, I wanted to uh, first of all complain or uh, or yeah, complain. I think is the, is the right word. I um, uh, I went to make videos today, and my USB cam stopped working. I uh, I put it in the box here. It's uh, it's a Logitech um, C922. I've got three of them. This one doesn't seem to be working anymore, which is really annoying. Um, and uh, I was running it through a Blue Rigger a ten meter active USB cable. Um, and I'm not sure if maybe the cable delivered too much power to it or something. I'm not real sure why it stopped working. It was working, now it's not working. And, and I thought I might just show you this. If I throw you over here, can you see this cable here is, uh, is running across the room to go around that way. Uh, whereas ordinarily um, the camera which is up here runs around the other part of the room and comes back. And this camera is the one that was called the lab cam and it used to sit up there and give the full view of the room which obviously I can't show you at the moment because that camera is now functioning as the welcome cam uh, so when I when I go to do videos at the moment I have to do this annoying little thing where I run this cable temporarily across there I can unplug it uh, when I'm not making videos so that's something um, so it just demands a little bit of extra setup and uh, and an and a, and a annoying uh, cable at the moment. So that's my complaint for the day. Um, the good news, I suppose, is that uh, I told Amazon about it and they're just going to send me a new one. I think I have to send the other one back. And uh, fortunately, I have a little box that was left over. So that's just uh, made for it. I'll just put it in there and they'll send me the return postage label and I'll stick that on and drop it off at the post office. So... Uh, it'll be another week or two before the new uh, camera turns up, but that's no problem. I'll just deal with it, as you saw, uh, like that for now. So, the other thing, um, and the reason why this is a second channel video, uh, let me just throw you over to, uh, <laughs> um, to the bench here, and let me show you uh, this. Now, it's... Um, it's a uh, it's a it's a some sort of a hex driver. It goes into the um, into the 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 holder or the the um, the drill. This end. It's a T15 Torx Torx bit, I believe. They're Torx T15 is what it is. And I wanted to show you this corrosion. It's just crazy corrosion here. And I thought we could have a look at that together under the microscope. And, uh, and and see if we can clean it up together. Um, and that's all this video is going to be about. Apart from my little complaining about my camera situation, I just want to um, fix up this... Uh, um, oxidization, I guess it is. It's rust, probably. I've got some isopropyl I'm going to clean it with. Um, and I've got this uh, uh, deoxid. So it's obviously oxidized. So we'll scrub it up. And then we'll deox it, and we'll and we'll see if, if that uh, if it, what it looks like afterwards. So the first thing I want to do is put it under the scope, uh, so uh, so we can see what 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 it looks like. Um, now here's the scope here, and uh, not in focus yet. There we go. That looks about in focus, doesn't it? Now. There it is. Look at that. Doesn't that look nasty? So some sort of oxidization. I must have dropped something corrosive on there. Uh, I can't imagine what it was. But uh, that just usually sits uh, in the in the little uh, pencil spot underneath in the keyboard drawer. So I'm not sure what I've done. And I thought maybe um, I might have a look at it under the, the higher powered microscope as well. So... Uh, let's just power that on um, and uh, select it. So let's so put that on there. <clears throat> Up it comes. All right. Now this is the high-powered uh, microscope, so we should get a really good close look at it. Look at that. 
Isn't that a mess? So it's obviously got some some drop of something landed there and then it's just eaten away. Fascinating, isn't it? I'm gonna put you back over to um, the 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 less powerful microscope so we can work on this together. So <sighs> up comes that scope. Now where is my thing? There. So I'm not real sure how to go about cleaning this, but I've got some Q-tips over here. Uh, <clears throat> I wonder, I actually might just be able to uh, uh, put you on here. So, um, so you can still see uh, the, uh, the corrosion up the top, up there. <laughs> Um, and uh, I, I can see uh, what I'm doing, so that's good. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to hit it with the isopropyl first. <clears throat> and, uh, and the Q-tip. Oh, yep, that's, that's rough. Yep, that's rough. I think what we're going to need is a brush. So uh, I've got a brush, I've got all sorts of brushes actually. Um, I have one brush called the Dirty Brush and that's probably the brush I want to be using for this particular job. Here it is, I'm not sure if you can see that but the label here says Dirty. I use it for the dirty work and this my friends is dirty work. So. Uh, I don't know if isopropyl is exactly the right uh, thing to be using here. Yeah, wow, that's a real mess, isn't it? Just, uh... Yeah, that brush isn't doing a particularly good job. I'm going to try uh, scraping it. Or well, what about this? Okay, this brush is uh, uh, metal filings, like cotton wool, uh, steel wool. Uh. Yeah. I think that might just be damaging the rest of it and not really fixing the problem. Not sure. Hmm. Hard to say. Mm. Maybe some light sandpaper. I'm not sure. Or maybe, uh, maybe a grinder. Do we want to try a grinder? We could. I don't know if it's worth getting the Dremel out. I'm not sure. I have uh, a cheaper grinder as well. Not sure where I keep it though. Oh, here it is. Is it working? Yeah, it's working. All right, well, let's find a uh, uh, attachment for that. <sighs> There's some attachments in here, so um, it's just, uh, is it going to fit? Yeah, that'll fit. All right, good. Well, um, let's, uh, I might just, uh, do you want me to leave that, uh, I'll just take take that micro microscope away because it probably is just annoying you. Now I'm going to turn that up to 11. There we go. One, two, three. I think actually I'm just taking the uh, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. 
Might as well just polish it right up to silver, huh? does seem to have some sort of coating on it and I think I'm taking the coating off uh, which maybe isn't what I want to be doing I'll put you back on the um, on the microscope just give you a look at how I've been going you see I, I've, uh, I've, I've polished it back to silver uh, maybe I'll put some, uh, some sort of coating on it There's, uh, you can just see that little hole just in there. I'll, uh, I'll give that a bit of a... That's the hole that uh, whatever hit it landed right there. And it really it went right in. if I want to gouge that right out I, I think we've probably done enough and I, I will coat it I'll coat it with some uh, <clears throat> um, this is a UV solder mask so uh, basically we're just going to paint it over there and then we'll hit it with the UV light to cure it um, and then hopefully that uh, silver bit that you can see there um, won't uh, won't rust because it's coated. Now I've made a bit of a mess here. I'll, I've got uh, iron filings everywhere. Yeah, clean that up. Ah, oh, dear me. So if it's not one thing, it's another, isn't it? I was uh, I was pretty bummed about my uh, camera situation. I I, uh, I like to have all my ducks lined up. So when I turn my uh, thing on, um, that I don't have any uh, friction uh, when it comes to making videos because um, you know the friction and it's a bit hard to do, and you don't do it. And I am sorry it's been a while since I got a video out and. Uh, the reason uh, for that, apart from the fact that I've been crazy busy, is I had to wait for some uh, 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 power boards actually to arrive. Only one of them has. I'm still waiting for the other one, but I only needed one uh, to make pr progress. Um, and uh, yeah, I had to I had to redo the power system over here on the bench. Um, and other parts of the lab as well. It was pretty. I had to replace four UPS batteries, uh, and I also had to replace um, a, a bunch of power boards. Two, in fact, and only one of them's arrived. But I've got enough of the power system done to make this video that I'm making today. Um, so I'm just waiting for the other one to arrive. They bollocksed my order. They got it wrong. So. Uh, I let them know and they're, they're going to fix it, they're going to send me the other one, but I'm just still waiting for it. So uh, yeah, apart from not having power, I've just been super busy. I'll tell you what, I've been working on the uh, on the website for the, uh, for the channel, 
Um, and that's that's coming along really quite well. I'm pretty pleased with it. <clears throat> Got more work to do on it, in fact. Um, but I'll, I'll keep that as a surprise. Just um, put some deoxid on this thing. Thought I'd give it a bit of a go with that. I'd really like to get the one that Adrian Black from Adrian Digital Basement. I'd rather get the one that he has. Um, because... Uh, it's a spray, you know, like an aerosol sort of thing. Uh, and this one that I'm using here, this is a, it's like a, a nail polish kind of thing, you know. It's got a, it comes with a brush. So, uh, and it's it's a very small. I only got a small. And deoxid, it's obviously an American thing. I had to order it from the states, and they shipped it over to me, and it cost me a fortune. So when I'm rich, I'm gonna buy, uh, I'm gonna buy some of those. Um, spray ones from the from the states. Adrian Black, he puts it on everything. I see him do it all the time. Um, so you know, monkey see, monkey do, right? Now, how does that look? You can see that I uh, I really took the the coating off it there, but it certainly looks a lot better than it did, wouldn't you agree? Now I'll just get a a cleaner one. That's a bit cleaner. Let's clean up after myself over here. Oh, look at that. I've taken a big gouge out of my um, mat. I do like this mat. It's quite good. I don't know what it says. It's all in... Oh, it's circuit board location area. Oh, thank you. And then something in Chinese. I don't know. It probably just says the same thing. Oh, well, that looked pretty good. So, uh... We've deoxed it and we've angle grinded it. Um, so I think uh, what we want to do now is just put some of that uh, that on there. Now I've got a UV light. This is my UV light. Uh, mechanic came together in the in the thing so if I just show you uh, show you that oh no we'll need to plug him in of course so uh, just put that there and are you gonna go in there yes and then we don't want to shine the UV light there we go so that's the the UV <coughs> so uh, what we'll do is we'll um, Squeeze a little bit of the uh, the solder mask onto here, and then we'll smear it around with the Q-tip, and then we'll hit, we'll put this there to cure it when we're ready. So here's the uh, thing. I, I I put this little cap on it. Uh, hopefully that hopefully that works. So. There's the solder mask. Now, it looks like we've leaked it everywhere. And I'll just try and get it across. Alright, get it up on, on the end as well. Now the idea, uh, and I, I, I've never done this before, but it, it sort of seems like it might work. The idea is just to get the solder mask all over the thing, um, and then uh, it should just prevent further corrosion, hopefully. Um, now, just uh, take a little thing and lift it off the, uh, the thing. It might as well clean that up. There we go. Uh, so we'll just uh, let's put that there, and then we'll put the uh, put the light on and 
put the line over the top and we'll just leave that to cure. You don't need to wait for me to cure it. We'll just uh, put our, um, our tip back on and uh, put him away. So, uh, I think that concludes this video. That's all I wanted to do was fix the corrosion on the uh, on the thing, on the um, the T15 Torx bit, and complain about my camera situation. Now I've got a whole bunch of other videos to do, and I'm going to start doing them. So I'll post this one now on Elliot's Extras, uh, and then I'm going to get on with uh, <coughs> making uh, a, a video for the uh, the Electronics uh, exhibition, which I've uh, just got back from. Well, two weeks ago now, um, but uh, this is the first opportunity I've had to make a video. So um, that's what I'm going to be working on next. And I'm going to be getting ready to do the inaugural um, uh, JCAR slash silicon chip mini project. So um, I'm going to uh, be ordering some stuff from JCAR. Uh, it's not available online, so I'm going to have to go down to the store and pick it up. Um, so I'm going to be uh, pre uh, doing that preparation work uh, today. So you can expect a couple of videos coming out on the on the channels soon. Uh, this is obviously a second channel video, um, so you, you may not have found it uh, because it won't be heavily advertised. But the next uh, channel will be, uh, the next video will be a main channel video, so uh, we'll have that uh, out to you shortly. So. Um, thanks very much for, for watching and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Hey again, I, uh, I just thought uh, before I post this video, I might show you how it turned out. It's finished curing now. I left it for probably about half an hour I think. I didn't actually keep an eye on it. Um, but that, uh, that UV solder mask has uh, well and truly um, uh, sealed up now. So I'll just, I'll just show you actually under the the scope here so you can see that's the uh, <coughs> the the coating on on the uh, on the bit is uh, uh, UV solder mask it's being cured under the UV light yes so that's that and uh, <coughs> uh, I thought I might show you how things turned out I think I'm actually going to post this video on the on the main channel so um, I'll get that ready now and I'll get it out um, and then I'll, uh, I'll get on with making some other videos. So thanks for watching and don't forget to hit like and subscribe.